I watched a really good, um, really good slasher film, um, that not a lot of people are talking about, called, um, Sick. And it's basically like Scream, but it's set during quarantine. It's, it's set during COVID. It's basically these two girls who are, um, self-isolating together and somebody's trying to kill them. Really simple premise, but really well executed movie. No pun intended. The best thing about it is the characters never feel like they're making dumb decisions. They behave in a way that I, you know, most people would in their given situation. It's also surprisingly well shot. Like all the scenes um, when the characters are getting chased, especially the opening, it's really impressive. Like the camera work, it's it's <coughs> like th there was um, the, the the first kill in the movie is a character getting chased in his apartment, and it's filmed with like high shutter speed but also um but also with a lot of close-ups and all in one take it's kind of hard to describe but it's like really um inventively shot compared to a lot of horror movies a lot of slasher movies i should say yeah it's a very simple movie like it's got like six i don't know cast members or something but it's um but yeah it's it's all it needs it's also one of those movies where when you find out what the killer's when you find out their motivation, it's like, it makes sense, like, they're not just evil for the sake of it. Like, the the killers, yeah, they had a, um, when you realise what their motivation is, you, you, you find yourself questioning, like, how, you know, how bad are they really sort of thing, which I really like. Because it kind of challenges the audience. And kind of recontextualises, you know, everything you thought up to that point. The first kill in that movie, the actor that plays him was that um was that uh that kid from super 8 he's, he's that actor who was on that that god awful um fine bros movies that that uh prom one but he was really good in the movie even though he he was only in the opening he was kind of like the drew barrymore of what of um the he's kind of yeah kind of like the drew barrymore of this particular movie and also the two leads were <coughs> the two girls were both i thought really good played the role really convincingly like i said they weren't like totally stupid like a lot of um characters in those types of movies are so yeah awesome movie would highly recommend it <clears throat> yeah another thing i liked about the movie is <clears throat> the killer acted with like a sort of violent for what's the word i'm looking for Fer ferocity Fer yeah <laughs> like a violent <clears throat> like a violent like like he felt like a threat, like he didn't just walk slowly <coughs> and the characters tripped over or whatever. Very um, like agile, very aggressive, which um, added to the tension. The film did have some cliches though. Uh, oh, this is a minor spoiler, but there's the um, like the bystander who the girls run into, who uh, all the you know the main victims run into, who go please help, and then with the, when they when they try to help them, the killer sneaks up and kills the bystander. I feel like I've seen that in like every every slasher movie. So yeah, a couple of cliches like that. But but like I said, other than that, pretty awesome and pretty original movie. I think for the most part. Same director as a movie called Alone, which was on Netflix, which I really enjoyed. That's another movie that does a lot with a low budget. Also, if you if you haven't seen Alone, I would highly recommend that as well. I think one of the things that works the most about Alone. Uh, is that it puts you into the perspective of like I'm a six foot like two male but the movie really puts you into the perspective of like a vulnerable woman who's traveling alone and is um you know being like preyed on by you know some creep and the um the guy that plays the creep who's actually I believe the husband of Cersei Lannister um is uh fantastic in the movie he plays like such a convincing such a convincing creep <coughs> he's got this like oh he's got this like overly polite sort of he's like he's a real pest to the woman basically he just um you know keeps running into her and keeps harassing her yeah the, the film does an awesome job at like at building up tension and the, with like how um with like um how he seems kind of harmless at first and then gets increasingly more and more deranged yeah and again it does a lot with a <clears throat> with a small budget the lead character you know does everything that like i would do sort of thing you're never like yelling at the screen because the character's making dumb decisions 
I'm curious to know what the budget is for that movie, actually, alone or for either of those movies. So it's an estimated $750,000. Manages to do a lot with a little, which I really respect. If you have to scream, cover your mouth. <laughs> That's a funny tagline.